Welcome to this video. Today we are doing a test and review of Avast antivirus. This is the free version, not the premium, the free version. And so here on the computer, I do have some malware samples ready to go. I have a total of 10 and we're going to test these here in just a moment. But a couple things before we get into that. First off, I apologize about the resolution of this video. Because of security reasons, I did have to switch to a computer I normally do not use and it's a compatibility issue. Hopefully I'll have that resolved in the future, but regardless of the resolution, the information is going to be the same. Also please note, as of a few moments ago, I did make sure that Windows 10 is up to date as well as I also made sure that Avast is up to date. And so what this test will include is we're going to do a full system scan just to see if it picks up the folder of malware, which I don't think it will, but we'll find out. After that, we will scan the folder itself and then Anything it does not find, we will go ahead and try to execute to see if a VAS can stop it from infecting the computer. Please note that this is just one type of test. There are many different types of malware out there and many, many, many different kinds of situations because everyone has a different computer doing different things. There's so many different factors, so many moving parts that it's very difficult to create a kind of test that fully applies to every single situation. This is just one type of test and so Regardless of what the results are, understand that there are many different kinds of situations and the results may be different. Now with that being said, we're going to go ahead and open up Avast and we're going to run a full system scan. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started and then we'll be back with the results. Remember there are 10 pieces of malware on this computer in that folder. All right, our full system scan has completed and you will notice that it detected four results. However, if I open up our samples folder, you'll notice that there's only one result left. And remember, we started out with 10. And so to be completely transparent as to what happened here, I was trying to do something on the desktop in the background while the scan was running. And out of habit, I right clicked on the samples folder and went to copy. I did not intend to do that. And so the moment I copied the samples folder, Avast immediately sent up several alerts and detected those other results. And so that's why it shows that on the scan it only detected four, but there's only one result left in the folder. I did not do that intentionally, and that was not the type of test I was intending to do, but the bottom line is we're testing to see whether or not Avast will detect these samples or if it will not. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click on Resolve. And then moving over here to the virus chest, we can see that there is a total of nine results here and one that is left. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to execute this, uh, this last piece and see if Avast will stop it or not. Now you'll notice that the moment I try to execute this file, Windows Smart Screen is popping up with a notification. And I can disable Windows Smart Screen, but just a note, that's not necessarily a real world scenario because in what scenario is an average user going to be in where they have Windows Defender or excuse me, Windows Smart Screen disabled. And this is a great example of how even when you install a second or third party antivirus, it still works in conjunction with parts of Windows Security and parts of Windows Defender to help protect your computer. But just for the sake of this test, I will disable Windows Smart Screen just to see what will happen with only Advast running. But again, keep in mind that that's not necessarily a real world scenario. All right, here we can see that we do have Windows Smart Screen disabled here in Windows Defender. All sorts of wonderful alerts are coming up. And so we'll go ahead and dismiss these. And now with Windows Smart Screen disabled, we'll go ahead and try executing the file again. And we can see that Avast stopped it, it scanned it, and it has blocked the, uh, the file. So that's exactly what we want to see. We're going to go ahead and move that to the chest as well. We can now see that our sample folder is completely empty. And if we look now at our virus chest, it now has 10 results in there, which is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and select everything and we'll delete them. 
Now just to be thorough, what I did is I restarted the computer and ran some additional scans just to make sure there are no trace elements or partial removal of any uh, malware, just to make sure nothing got through. And so here on Malwarebytes we can see that it came back clean and found zero results. I also ran a scan with MZSoft and it also came back clean. Also did a scan with Hitman Pro and it also came back clean with zero threats detected. And last, I did a scan with Zamana, and it also came back completely clean. So in short, Avast did very well on this test. It detected 90% of the results before execution, and the last 10% it detected after execution and stopped 100% of the results with nothing else found with any other scans on this computer. So this, in this particular test, again, Avast did very well, but please keep in mind, as I've already mentioned, there are many, many, many different kinds of tests. There's many different kinds of scenarios, many different kinds of malware. You may even have a situation where you're not connected to the internet, and that does impact results with malware as well as security programs. So keep that in mind. So again, this is one type of test, and other types of tests Avast may do a little bit different. I do think Avast is a very good program, but please keep in mind, in my opinion, the best antivirus program on the planet is you, the user, Nothing beats education. It's much easier for a malicious actor to circumvent an antivirus program, but it's more difficult to circumvent a user who's very well educated and knows the do's and don'ts on the internet and on the computer in general. That's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. And as always, hope you have a wonderful day.